Good afternoon. I'm Charles from France. So the picture here, you can see I'm in a hemp field, like one hour from Paris Center. And the hemp that I have in my hand is the hemp that we grow mainly for seeds. So this is an agriculture to feed the people, but the main part of the work for me is to use the straws. So we can call it a byproduct from the food agriculture. Today I represent the RBX Creation Company, which is the company that I funded with six people. We have a brand called Garfu, and we develop hemp fibers under the name of Irony, which is a brand name that we have at the European Intellectual Property Organization. Basically, I'm a podiatrist. I came into the world of materials by shoe design. So I designed the shoes, then the shoes became interested for the materials, and then the materials became even more interesting, and hemp is one of the best materials. Our company is located in south of France, in a small village called Neuillac. And um, we also work quite a lot if, in Paris because for meeting, if you are not in Paris, it's quite difficult. We also have a Vietnamese branch, so two people in Vietnam. The company was funded in 2016, but I was working on it one year before. And nowadays, the materials development represents 75% of our work, and mainly on hemp. We work a little bit on linen, cork, factory wastes also, but hemp is really the main material if you want to, to be efficient for the industry. So we are two full-time partners and six shareholders. We mainly work these days with farmers on the agricultural part. We also work with factories and machinery providers. And we also make some product designs for people that want to turn into eco-friendly materials. Of course, the market issues, okay, we, we, we all know it, is that the world is polluting quite a lot and uh, there is a lack of investments in the, how to say, solutions. By the way, I also know that it's difficult to talk about solutions because sometimes there are no solutions, so it's the beginning of a new area, I guess. Also, the problem comes from the money, like everybody wants something cheap, cheap, even cheaper, and uh, it's hard to compete if the topic is only money. Also, as you can see, green fashion is also a trend, so to feed the market demand, we go on short-term solutions. Good ideas to put the topic at the place, but for long-term, sometimes it's uh, not really good. And if we consider the way we grow hemp, like in the turnover in agriculture, we used to work with a plant that is not a danger for biodiversity. When we grow hemp for the next four or five years, even more, we will grow other crops like sunflower, wheat, you can even try with cotton, why not? So there are many solutions in the way you can grow hemp. We also uh, made a proposal for the city of Paris to grow hemp on the roofs, to grow hemp nearby the roads and things like this. So there are many solutions that we can develop, but the point regarding hemp is also about the laws and the leg leg legislation in all the countries that you can see that hemp is a topic a bit tricky because we'll consider the way we use the hemp flower. So there are many problems, but in my opinion, it's going on the right way for the future when I see like everybody here is interested about hemp, so I like it. For us, the, um, the way to provide hemp fibers for the textile industry, because we work on hemp 
Today I won't talk about the cosmetic part or things like this, only for the textile industry. We must consider that the textile industry has some machinery. We won't change the machinery like in one week or in one year or something like this. There is some machinery. We must feed the machinery. We won't change the industry. We cannot ask for something that re demands to change the materials for the people who are making the spinning, the weaving and things like this. So we will adapt ourselves to the machinery that already exists. So you can see the, um, on the top a fiber who has been developed by Dr. Meister in Germany. And this can go on the cotton spinning mills, so it's pretty good. And nowadays we develop a fiber that can go on the synthetic spinning mills, so it's also interesting because we can be efficient faster if we already use the machinery that already exists. And you can see here some plastic that I did myself. You can make some membranes like waterproof or things like this. You have many options. As everybody said today, we must be inspired by the traditional know-how. And uh, on my, my side, it mainly comes from Vietnam, where I work with uh, people in the north of the country, working hemp the same way they did for thousand years. And it's very inspiring because if you know the basic, you can move forward for something much more technical. And with that, that support from the, 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 the people who know for many years, it's hard to move forward. And uh, I love to work with these people too. I also work on the traditional know-how from France, but there are more people in Vietnam uh, making weaving by hands or things like this. So uh, that's why I want to dedicate this picture to them. And here it's a um, factory in France making woven fabrics. So how could we work together? We are interested about working with anybody, from farmers, uh, people in the industry, designers, and we really want not to, 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 to push the people on something that is too new for them, but also try to find solution for them to not to change their habit too much. So thank you very much, Multumesk.